Okay. Oh, here we go. Wow. So Look at it's turning, it's churning it, it's churning. All right, people, what's up? Today we're checking out the worst TikTok recipes you've ever seen. All right, that should be good. Push that down into the pie crust. Take your Velveeta cheese. rolling pin works really well for this. To preface this video, I am far from being a professional chef, but I will say I have watched every single season of Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmares, and Master Chef, and never in my 18 years of existence have I seen somebody rolling out cheese on a fucking pizza dough roller. Now that is a first for me. Wow. Perfect. Now, you're gonna take your biscuits and put it on top. Okay, now we're just going to. Wow. That was great. And then you, wow, look at that. Okay, I get that he's excited, but what the fuck is so exciting? Is slapping a bunch of raw bacon on top of a bunch of fucking meat and cheese really that intriguing? And once again, I'm not a professional chef, but I feel like this guy's gonna start flipping fucking tables if this woman starts cutting bread next. Yep, perfect. Okay, and we got a baking tray right there. Perfect. Can we just acknowledge this shit stain of a workspace? First you roll out cheese on a fucking pizza dough roller and now you're cutting bacon with scissors and your table looks like you just circumcised somebody. This is only the first recipe, by the way. Holy cow. I'm gonna cut into it. Watch this. Look at all the- Wow. Wow, she put it in an oven. Can you fuck off? I feel like this guy's gonna be progressively more annoying throughout the video. I get it. You're trying to be a hype man for your girlfriend or wife. I get it. But holy fucking shit. If my girlfriend or wife makes something that looks like dog shit, I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell her it's dog shit. And if I were this girl's boyfriend, I would say that hey, this looks like a piece of dehydrated camel shit. Yep, it's ready. In there. Let me see. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, look yes. That. that looks so good. If this lady has any children, I wonder if they're still alive. Like, you simply can't make this shit up. It literally looks like something that would give you a heart attack on the first bite. I think I would survive eating the pink sauce before I eat this shit. Mm. It's so good. Look at this face and tell me you believe anything that's leaking out of her fucking mouth. I mean, you know what they say, ladies and gentlemen, when the shit goes in, the shit comes out. I feel bad for this girl's boyfriend, low key. Imagine having to kiss them lips at night. God. What the fuck is this? I get it. People want to be creative with food on the internet because it brings a lot of views. But why in God's green earth are we at the point of making fucking Legos out of cheese bricks? If I can't open my mouth that wide and James Charles spreading his ass that wide, I don't think anybody's consuming this sandwich. Rolls out just like dough. Let me place it right here. Perfect. This very frame alone is making me want to throw up. The amount of cheese that they are using for this sandwich is so unbelievably unnecessary. And also, I find it very hard to believe that anybody is actually going to eat that in its entirety. That's only if you can live to tell the tale. Roll it. You know that Alaskan bullworm from Spongebob? I don't know, audience. There's a point in a recipe where you're trying to be creative. You're trying to bring on something new. But there also comes a point where you just need to fucking stop and reconsider the shit you're about to publish on the internet. And from what I'm observing right now, she is way beyond the fucking point of quitting. This woman should have stopped making this recipe the second that she touched the ingredients at the grocery store. Look at that. Whoa. You can tell because the cheese is bursting out. Oh, yeah. Yep. <gasps> Look, that cheese coming out. <gasps> Look. 
I feel like this woman has genuinely convinced herself that she is a five-star chef. I don't think there has ever been a restaurant where somebody's like, oh yeah, I'll take the double-decker pecker wrecker of absolute dog shit cheese dripping out of the ass crack of a burrito. Thank you. I genuinely do not think anybody in their right mind is actually going to consume her food. I feel like the husband has held at gunpoint to say that these recipes are good. <laughs> What the fuck? I said it once and I will say it again. These are going to be the worst recipes you've ever seen. I did not expect to have a fucking toilet in this video. I get it. Cooking can be an art, but let's not do it in the same place where I take a fat fucking shit. Just pop that in. There wow. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so good. That looks perfect. Really mush it around. Excellent. Oh, yeah. you already emptied this yeah, part. Yeah, I emptied Great. that part. At this point in the video, I desperately want to believe that this is a fake video. There's no way the husband is watching this shit and thinking, mmm, that's fucking delicious. Sour candy. You're just gonna start loading up this tank back here. Obviously, Sprite. Yeah. You wanna get your Sprite in there. We can place this. Right. Okay. Oh, here we go. Wow. So it starts, oh look, it is. It's filling up. Wow. It's filling up. Yeah. Go ahead and just get that in there. Get some ice in the punch. Oh, nice. Oh, Got the punch. Nice. Here, Thank one you. for you. Uh, yeah. How'd you make it? Uh, the toilet bowl punch recipe. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. <gasps> I, love uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I think I follow with this woman here. There is no possible way you're gonna trick me into poisoning myself over toilet shit punch. I don't know if these were hired voice actors or neighbors, but either way, I would be terrified to live next to a lady like this. And why they would want to participate in a skit like this is beyond me. I'm telling you guys, they are definitely held at gunpoint. Okay, twist it in there. Around like that. Lady, can you explain why you clogged the toilet? I don't know if you noticed, but the water is already seeping out of the toilet bowl. And you can say that you clean your toilet all you want, right? But there's still gonna be residue of shit particles all inside that toilet bowl. It doesn't matter how much you clean your toilet, some of the shit is always gonna be there forever. I swear if you eat anything that this woman provides you, you're gonna be putting your immune system to the test. Some of this. This is the most important part. Oh yeah, you hear that guys? The most important part, you better have your fucking ears peeled for this shit. Okay. Yeah, like a lot of it in there. Okay. Make sure that it fills a lot of the tank, okay? Like this? Yep. Yeah. And then watch what happens when you flush this, okay? If you want it extra creamy, just cause there's a little bit of water mixed in there, you'll add some whipped cream. Yeah. Oh my it, goodness, that is so extra. Yeah. Get a couple of cherries in there. Okay. Why the fuck did you add more than one straw in that shit? Do you genuinely believe that somebody else is going to feast on this with you? If so, you are horribly mistaken. Go for it. <gasps> Look at it's turning, it's churning it, it's turning it into chocolate milk. Okay, yep, I am fucking disgusted. Anyways, audience, that's it for today. Please click the video on screen. I promise you'll love it. But anyways, yeah, subscribe.